everybody, welcome to the video. Let's simulate some voltage dependent sources using LT Spice. All right, so let's use this example. And let me start a new file here. Okay, so let's start drawing the schematic. So why don't I start with some resistors? Okay, so there's six of them. One. Mm. All right. Okay, now let me add the independent voltage source. So here, component, and I'll just type voltage. All right, so that's this one. Now let me put that independent current source. So I'll type current and facing the other way there. Okay. And uh, let me just start wiring it so we kind of see how it shapes up just so I can have space things out. Okay. And then this, and then there's going to be one more thing right here. Okay. So now I need the voltage dependent current source. Okay. So component. Uh, so this is a voltage dependent. E is a voltage dependent voltage source. F current dependent current source. G voltage dependent current source. H current dependent voltage source. Okay. So I need voltage dependent current source. Okay. Facing upwards there. All right. Now I need a voltage dependent voltage source. Uh, this one, voltage dependent voltage source. There. Okay. So now if you notice for these voltage dependent sources, you get two extra pins that show up. So you just wire those pins to where that voltage depends and then you're done. Okay. So for example, this one, it depends on voltage V delta, which is over here for this two ohm resistor, this one. And then the plus side is on the left. So you see, this is the plus side that needs to go here. Then the minus sign is on the right. So this needs to go here. Okay. So let me start wiring that. All right. So the plus side goes to the left of that two ohm resistor. And then the minus side goes to the right of this two ohm resistor. And there you go. Let me just move this over. Okay. So now, and then the gain was 0 0.4, 0 0.4. And there we go. All right. So the current here is 0 0.4 times the voltage across this two ohm resistor. Okay. Now for the voltage dependent voltage source, it depends on V theta, which is this 7.5 ohm resistor. All right. So I'll just talk as I go through. So the plus side is on the left here. And then the minus side is on the right here. Okay. And then the gain was 0.8. So I'll right click. So 0.8. And there we go. I, I mean, I, you have to add the rest of the values here, right? But other than that, that's it. So that's how it works. Okay. So give this a try. Well, let me just do a little bit more. Let me finish putting all the values here. Uh, let's see. This is six. This is eight. And let's see if you want to simulate it. And this particular problem is example 4.7. And it was asking for the voltage VO across here. And so I'm going to put my reference here, my ground there. OK, 
Okay, now it's ready to simulate. So I'm gonna run a simulation just for a second. And then uh, if we look at the answer, for example, 4.7, the answer is looking for this voltage right here. Um, oh, there, which is 173 volts. Okay, so I'll let you try this for yourself. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll see you on the next video.